Well, folks, we got a circus happening tonight. So after the Dr. Disrespect situation, we got a Nick Merck situation. Yeah, apparently Nick Merck uh, is going crazy right now. Uh, everybody's talking about it. He dropped a SAR Bomba on the online gaming community. We're going to get right into the situation. Like this video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. We're going to uh, we're gonna let everybody vote on the situation. We got Officer Lucky coming at you live with his retirement home setup. Roll it. Let's see what, what is happens. up, peeps. We are back here with some breaking news as Nick Merckx has now responded at length over his Twitch ban, which lasted a week. Yes, this stems back to last week where we covered this news on this channel. In case you guys missed it, it was likely for, for a variety of comments that Nick Merckx had made towards the trans and LGBTQ community. And he also later took to Twitter of what he was told the reason was for his ban. And yes, that lasting seven days. And of course, this was met with a lot of different reactions out there. People thinking, yes, you deserve to be banned. Others in his defense saying uh, why was he banned and it's uh, what was the reason for his ban though like <laughs> uh, yeah what was the reason again like sparked a lot of online discussion nick the transphobe struggling against the trans gay there's no such thing as trans people <gasps> no <laughs> time out bro time out time out tranquilo papi tranquilo papi that's something that you created so have fun with your little dreamland. 90% of the tweets I've seen on your side last night. That's the thing though. I, I don't care about people agreeing with me. You know? Uh, I, I don't really mind. It's fine. Okay. You know? There's going to be people that disagree and people that agree. I don't care about the percentages or the cuts or whatever. I, I, it doesn't bother me. You know? I, I feel a certain way about all that. Uh oh. And I've said my piece and I will remind these fucking people. Damn. That, again... The little dream fantasy bullshit that they're living in is not real life. And not everybody has to dance to their tune. That's not how that works. You don't get to go around and point your finger in people's chests yeah, and say, like, hey, you, cannot do you that. live yeah. in my world. You think the way that I think. You believe the way that I believe. No, no, no. That's not how that works. I, I mean, listen, like, the way I see it is that, bro, like, if you want to stick your pee-pee in poo-poo, that's perfectly fine by me. But don't tell me to do that too, right? Like, don't force your belief. And also, the same goes from my end or from, like, both sides, right? Like, nobody likes it when other people shove their belief down uh, people's throat, right? Nobody likes that. So simply put, just leave the kids alone. Leave people out of this one. Hey, you want to stick your PP in poo-poo? Go for it. Uh, but, but yeah, like, uh, what are we talking, man? Like, this is happening in online gaming, by the way, fellas. That's not how that works. It, it, it never has been, and it never will be. To which Nick, once he was finally unbanned, came back to actually talk about and clarify exactly why Twitch banned him. This is okay, so that was pre-banned. Okay, so this is after, this is post. Okay, oh shit. Okay, let's weirdest see. part. Okay, look, man. Like, I don't want to go over it too much, but yeah. I just, I always want to be honest here with you guys. Like, I, look, call me what you want, man. Call me what you want. I just want to be honest with you, though. Okay, I always want to be honest. I don't want to lie. Like, if I can't tell you something, Undertaker I won't tell you. But I'm never gonna lie to you. I can't say the word that I had said <sighs> on Twitch. <laughs> Okay, so this is the word he said, right? Uh, okay, so ban for using the word. I, 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 it's gonna be counterproductive, I guess. We're not gonna say it. On Twitch, apparently that's a derogatory term. That's on me. Next time I'll use the mental health disorder. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Because oh, it's considered derogatory, okay? okay? It's like a bad word. Hold on, though. Before you go crazy, just, just wait a second. Okay. Just one second. All I want to say, and I, I just want everyone, I want everyone, I did not know that that was a derogatory word. I didn't. You can think that I did, but wallahi, wahi, wahi, I Stop swear to cat. God, I, on, mama, on mom's life. Okay, okay, he, he swore to God and he on his mama's life. Okay, so I think brother did not know. I mean, damn, Twitch, brother did not know though. Brother, 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 come on, brother. Brother did not know though. What we doing? Bati boy, fa pom pom, bumbo cloud, bro. Yeah, man, they send the homie to Twitch heaven just like one shot like that. Damn, homie. So this is like his confession. This is like after uh, after Ben, right? Like this is his comeback stream, okay? On mom's life. On, on mom's on life? Mom's, Damn. On everybody that I love, man. On myself. I did not know that that was derogatory. 
Okay. And he actually talked about this. So what we thinking? What we thinking? We believe in him. One, if you believe him. Two, if you don't believe him. I wanna know. Let's actually put a word real quick. I, I, I mean, he swore on God's. He swore on his mama's life. He, he swore on his life as well. I think brother did not know. I think brother did not know. Bruh. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? Quite a bit and uh, several different talking points here. First and foremost, saying that he had no idea that that word was a slur. And I'm going to be honest, I, I actually believe him when he says this. I know the internet's going to probably be split on that one as well. You guys can leave your comments down below. But supposedly he is saying that when he was saying that word, he didn't realize that it was on a slur. Also referencing that some Twitch staff was maybe comparing what he said to saying the N word, which myself personally, I would say is. Maybe a bit of a stretch, but we're on topics here that people are going to have a lot of varying opinions on. Yeah. I like the part like, that... Uh, <laughs> Pump the brakes, though. Like, do you guys think that this is comparable to the N-word? Do you think that it's worse than saying the N-word? Do you think it, it got no competition? I want to know where my where my homies at. I, wa I want my black homies on this situation. I'm a, I want my white homies. Uh, and I want everybody. I, I want the aliens on this uh, situation. I want, like, the FBI analyst. I want... Uh, I want like CSI Miami type of uh, analysis done on this one as well, guys. I, ne I need everybody, man. I need people from the Area 51 as well. Like, I want everybody on this one immediately, fellas. So, it's where a, he actually important. does admit where some of the things he was saying towards the trans and LGBTQ community were not very nice. Like, it He's aware that he was saying a lot, and we've played those clips for you guys. It was a lot more than just the, the one word that he had used. I mean, there are several clips out there from several different streams where he was saying that straight-up trans people are, are not real, which is certainly going to be seen as hate speech and obviously something Twitch has banned before in the past or banned people for in the past and banned Nick here for as well. Now, putting that to the side, we weren't saying a lot of very positive things. Mm. about said community mm. uh, during that stream. So That's tough. you could argue that it's neither here nor there. And, and, I, and that part I, 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 I'd, I'd probably agree with. However, people were going around like, oh, he knew. Okay, like, everybody's talking about something completely else, and this man, Stitch, Sketch? 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 No! Oh, where, 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 where is the Undertaker? Where is the Undertaker? Sketch uh, or snitch here, right? He talks about we have bigger D's. <laughs> who, uh, who is this man? Officer, this guy right here. Officer, this guy right here. Just say mentally ill people, Lamal. Right, right. F on. Okay, so yeah, people are all over, all over this topic, bro. That's crazy. Ooh, he knew. Yeah, all right. You didn't know. I didn't fucking know, man. We get it. Bro. I didn't know. They were saying it's like saying the N word. Bruh. I didn't fucking know that. Bruh. Why would I? What? Bruh. Come on now. Anyway. So they banned me for a week. They came my ass for a week, bruh. Oh, we got more. To be honest, it was, it was good timing. I was going to Vegas. I was going to Vegas. When I came back, it was July 4th. And I had family in town. So, not all bad, right? It's okay. I'll take my ban to the chest. I understand there's rules, you know? You can't break them or else... You got to pay the price. You got to pay to play. Okay. Yeah. Um, and, there, and there you go, man. All right. Nowhere <laughs> near that. Comparing to the N word is wild. Look, I'm just telling you what they were telling me. Yeah. Gang, gang. Very sad. Okay. Gang, gang. <laughs> I, I don't understand either. Okay. But I'm, I'm just reiterating. Well, how how it had how it had went. All right. Okay. All right. All right. So, yeah. Uh, Wait for it. Wait anyway, for it. man, did you did did you think about what it would be like to get a perma ban? Yeah, <sighs> I did. I think no matter what, I'm gonna be okay. You know, I, I mean, guys, I've made so much bread from this shit. Like, I, I'm a multi multi. You know what I mean? I mean, straight up, I've made so much money, man. You know. Um, so I'm in a really good place no matter how it spins. However, I, like, I'm not done. I don't want to be done. Uh, can a brother get two pennies, uh, my man? Like, like, can a brother get two pennies there? And I want to keep, I want to keep gaming and keep playing. And I mean, I love, I love my community. I love my people. I love okay. to play games. We love to have fun. We love to throw events and do some, do some cool shit. Um, so I'm not anywhere near done. And I think this gets even more interesting as he continues on to say how he's doing just fine. He's got plenty of money saved up and even just saying that I'm a multi-multi-millionaire and he's... 
he's not really concerned uh, about these kind of bans, and I think that's probably a big reason why we usually see these streamers, they get these big deals, and maybe they become a bit more outspoken than usual. M money just, uh, you know, helps. Uh, m money, uh, people say money is the root to all evil. Nah, bro. Like, money just exposes who you truly are. Money money gave the homie freedom to speak his mind, right? Like, money gave free, uh, him freedom to uh, be, because uh, before that, he was chained up, right? Now he's free. He's a free man, so he don't care about getting banned, right? So now he's, uh, money just has, uh, free the guy, essentially. Now he's a free tanker. He can speak openly. He can speak for, uh, yeah, without, like, uh, being paranoid that his, uh, paycheck is gonna get cut, right? So, yeah, 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 yeah. Money is just, uh, uh, exposing the real him, uh, and it's letting him, uh, uh, speak his mind, so. Well, because, yeah. yes, there is something to lose, but when you've already made it financially, uh, really how far down the totem pole can you fall he also Facts. continues on to say that he feels he's never felt more disconnected from where the gaming community was to where it is now, now. and i yeah. have to imagine that's in relation to people's viewpoints that don't necessarily align with all the viewpoints he has been sharing lately so yeah However, the landscape has changed a lot, like the gaming community. I, I think it's all, uh, the reason like there has been this much hate uh, from both sides right now is because like, it, it's all up to th this like DEI bull squash that's happening though. Before like, Sikis wouldn't even care about like whether you were straight uh, or not straight, white, purple, brown, gay, or uh, religious, not religious, atheist, nah, nobody cares. Like gamers just want to play games with uh, people that are cool, right? It always has been like that and it still is like that, but the reason there's this much like going on is because like of the DEI push, the woke stuff that's been uh, all the politics that are being included not by gamers not by gamers gamers are talking about it because gamers had enough you probably had enough nick probably had enough i also had enough like we're seeing that literally in all the movies all the movies how many franchises have been ruined right how many games are being ruined with all that because they're pushing it really really heavily so people are of course uh, you know uh, it's gonna have the equal and opposite reaction everything has an equal and opposite reaction and that's essentially what you're seeing happen in real time so you got gaming publishers pushing woke nonsense woke bull squash dei glore everything right like cr like crazy so of course the audience is gonna see that and either the audience gonna agree or it's gonna disagree majority disagrees though and everybody got their reasonings here so yeah i mean everybody has a right for uh, either accepting that or not uh, accepting that refusal to participating in somebody's fantasy is not hate speech that's not hateful it just means that you're you're looking at it as like you see it as bullshit so you don't wanna you, you feel what i'm saying so be the industry um the people that surround us and i mean granted i've always kind of felt like not only me, but the M fam as well. We, we've always kind of been on an island. You, we, Chad, would you agree with that? That our community, and especially me, I. I... Bro, island? No, nah, man, don't say the island word, bro. But I know what he means, but like, damn, bro, like, don't say that. Just kind of on an island in comparison to the, the broader gaming world. Like, we yeah, do yeah, our yeah. thing and we agreed, cross pollinate agreed, sometimes. Say. We play some games, but we've always kind of been over there. And I like that. I like being in my own area and doing my own thing, you know, and not playing anybody else's game and shit. However, um, man, it like today and currently, I have never felt further away from. And this is not like a bad thing. I I take pride in it, but I, just further away from the gaming world, the industry. Oh my god, I feel like I'm on the other side of the planet. Yeah, on a little island, you know. But look, man. I mean, I, I, I'm hopeful that maybe it changes a little bit, comes back around. I don't know, but I feel like a dinosaur, bro. Damn. This this industry's changed so much. People are fucking. People are all. Worried. Imagine if the old. And, and the the funniest thing here is that like even uh, I saw this. I covered this in a news like a while ago. I believe a month or two months ago. There was a Twitter account. Uh, uh, they they were all about like preserving the history of dinosaurs or something like that, right? It was something like that. A and guess what? They were saying that not my opinion, not my words. They were saying that dinosaurs were gay. <laughs> I covered that. If you have been around the channel, you know what I'm talking about, right? Like, you probably saw me covering a news story like that. Because they literally said that. They literally said that. 
I, I, bro, holy crap. Like, what we doing here? So, like, damn, homie. Damn. I mean, don't. COD Lobby voice chats got released today. <laughs> the entire franchise would be cooked by Twitter for what was said by people. P people love bringing this shit up, huh? People, freedom of speech. No, it's not a freedom of speech, Chad. Like, you can say what you want, but there's just consequences for the shit that you say. You know what I mean? Mm. Um... These you know, I was fights definitely were something the else. Jerry some got uh, kicked so hard his ponytail went all, limp. I said. You lost any followers slash subs since the bend? Not, not really. I mean, we lost maybe 400 subscribers on Twitch, which is kind of crazy. I think everybody that's subbed on Twitch is just, they're subbed on Twitch, man. You know what I mean? I mean, that number hasn't gone down in a minute, and we were just yeah. off for like a week, and we were banned too, so you couldn't even load up my shit. Yo, so it, it's basically like, yeah, the, the, the saying is that 99... 98% of the world is uh, view all of this as nonsense, uh, right? So I, I guess that stands correct. Still barely even lost a shit ton of, you know what I mean? So fuck. Yeah. Um, I'm a black man and I'm sick. They have the nerve to compare the two words. Yeah. I, oh, I yeah. don't care. I mean, I, I, I didn't uh, know. He's talking about the word he used uh, plus the N word, right? Comparing it. Okay. Okay. So we got the homie's opinion on that one. Oh, that what I that what I had said was derogatory, but at the same time, I, I, I want my homies. Uh, I want. I also want my homies, and I want my homeboy's opinion on this one too, bro. Yeah, I mean, I, I know that I wasn't speaking positively about you know that group. Yeah. And look, yeah. it is yeah. what it is, man. That's the shit that I believe, and that's that, that that's that's yeah. that's, that's how yeah. I feel, and yeah. it is what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't care if you ain't rocking with it. You can ban me all you want. You know what I mean. However, if you're gonna ban me for saying a word that was derogatory, it would be I I just I learned that 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 was a derogatory word. So okay. he also does make sure to say that he does still stand by what he said. He still stands by his beliefs and everything previously mentioned. Uh, just to note. But I don't expect that Nick will be going on the same rants or at least using the same verbiage as he has in his past. Yeah, That's fair, just a guess, bro. and that is all he had to say. Yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts. And recently, this also happened. Check this video out on the screen because Japan, they not happy with the BBC Samurai situation, though. Uh, yeah, check out this video on the screen. If you have not seen, uh, if you already seen it, then check out the video on the left.